from Limbo Pro Color. Today, we are going to talk about the dispersibility of colorants for plastic application. Firstly, what's the dispersibility? Dispersibility is the capacity of reducing the aggregate and attaching the collective size to the detailed size. When pigments become wet, when pigment disperse away in a certain medium, the smaller average part size contributes to the higher stress. Generally speaking, the better dispersion of pigment in the plastic, the higher stress because the product's coloring is formed by the light effect on its surface. Pigment dispersed well means the average part size is small and the specific surface area is large. Then the effect of light is strong, so the appearance of the color products will appear bright and less color points. The finger shows the part size influence on strength. Therefore, less pigment can be used on same strength for better dispersion pigments. We can increase economical efficiency. In addition, the dispersibility has different effects on the different color pigments. As shown in the below table, when pigment dispersion is bad, we will see streaks or points of color. Not only affect the coloring product appearance, more unfinished products mechanical property. Pigment dispersion in plastic application is more important than in the printing ink and coating application, especially for fiber. But how to test the pigment dispersion? There are two test methods for pigment dispersion. One is tested by two raw mill. International standard is 139002. We adjust the lunar surface temperature to change shear force on materials, which leads to the different strengths by different dispersion. The table shows how to assess our dispersibility value. Another is tested by the filter press value machine. Standard is EN139025. When the pigment passes through the extruder sieve, the inner melt pressure of the extruder will rise. Thus, this standard is generally this standard is generally adopted for some higher dispersibility requirements products, such as ultra thin film and fiber application. The dispersion of pigment is related to its surface properties, part size, and the distribution. First, let's talk about surface properties. The surface characteristics of organic pigment packers are related to the accumulation and arrangement of pigment molecules. Different crystal structures of packers show different surface properties. Take pigment red 48 to 2 as an example. This is the left picture. Molecules have different polarity groups. Before forming the lake, molecules are arranged plainly and constitute crystal precipitation. Primary particles with high surface energy when group are generated in the lake cause strong attraction between each other, then form crystal particles in different processing conditions. Crystal particles can present a cube, plate, a circular, or cleavage model, then forming different pigment crystal surface features. Now, P present for polar growth, N2P present for non-polar growth. Model A shows above, the below surface with the more polar growth show strong polarity and the sides mainly show non-polar when non-polar surface is more than its polarity surface crystals present strong hypophenicity on the contrary 
whenever this surface is more than the non-corner surface for flake pigment crystal, and it presents the strong hydrophilicity for cleavage crystal. It's no corner surface is more than the polar surface, so it shows strong hypophilicity. According to the principle of similarity and the intermissibility, the, if the surface of pigment particles is polarity, the working angle between pigment and polarity solvent is small, the pigment becomes wet easily. Therefore, this type of pigment can disperse well when it is used in high polarity system. For example, what based technique, what based paint, and set three. If the surface of pigment particles is no polar, it can also wet it and disperse well when it is applied for no polar plastic resin.